Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving deep into the realm of pattern programming in C Sharp and demystifying peeling queue essentials for optimal performance. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Peeling queue, that is parallel language integrated query in C Sharp. We all love the simplicity and expressiveness of the link queue, that is language integrated query. But what if we could take it to the next level by introducing parallelism? That's where the link queue comes into the picture. It's a feature in C Sharp that allows us to execute link queries in parallel, unlocking a whole new level of the performance. If you watched my first video on mastering parallel programming series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we are diving into the P-Link queue in this video. P-Link queue is like a tool that makes link queue work even better by letting it handle multiple tasks at once. And by the way, those other things you see in this diagram, we will be talking about them in future videos. So stick around for that. So now let's see example of link queue query first and then p link queue example. So language integrated query, link queue. So it executes query in the sequential fashion. Let's witness. So here what I have done, where odd numbers is equal to numbers dot where number goes to number percent to not equal to zero dot two list. So basically this line of code creates a new list, nothing but the odd numbers over here that contains only the odd numbers from the original number collection using link you where method and a specific filter condition. So what is the filter condition? Here I have given number goes to number percent to not equal to zero. This is nothing but the lambda expression and we are defining the condition for filtering over here. So it means for each number in the collection, include it in the result if the remainder when dividing by 2 is not equal to 0. In simpler terms, we could say that it is just going to include only odd number. Okay, so now let's see the parallel language integrated query, how we can write it, right? So here I have written where odd numbers is equal to numbers dot as parallel dot where number goes to number percent to not equal to 0 and then dot to list. So this line of code performs the same odd number filtering as the previous example, right? But here we are leveraging the p -Link queue parallel processing capability. So it is resulting in faster execution on systems with multiple codes. So here, if you notice what we have done, we have just added dot as parallel method of the system dot link queue dot parallel enumerable class. So it is just going to perform three step processes. What are those steps? Number one, it is just going to first break down the numbers in a group. Then it is just going to execute in the parallel. Finally, when execution happened, then it is just going to collate the result. So these three steps process is going to be carried out when we are going to put this as parallel extension method in this p -Link queue query. So all the heavy lifting is going to be done by the framework itself. We just need to add this dot as parallel extension method. Okay, so now let's see one more example of the p -Link queue query. So here we are interested to convert lowercase characters to uppercase in the parallel way. How we can do that? So for that, I have written this statement. uvwxyz dot as parallel dot select t goes to cat dot to upper and then dot to array. So in this process, what we are doing, the initial character set is divided into three set, uv, wx and yz. Next, each of these smaller sets undergoes an uppercase conversion through distinct code process. Lowercase ub is going to get converted to the uppercase ub with the help of different core process. Similarly, wx to wx the different core process. Finally, yz to capital YZ, it is going to be performed by the different core process altogether. And finally, when execution happened, then results are gathered and a new character set is formed. But if you notice, it got converted to the uppercase, but not in the same sequence as the input. Here, uv, w, x, y, z. Here, uv, y, z, w, x. So it's worth noting that the sequence of the new set may or may not match the original input sequence that we are seeing over here. Right? So now question arises, how we can get the resulted character set in the same sequence as input characters? Don't worry, we have got a solution for that. So what is the solution? To maintain the order in our parallel execution, we have something called dot as ordered extension that we need to use immediately after the as parallel method. That's what I have written over here. U V W X Y Z. I have written dot as parallel and immediately I wrote as ordered extension method and then select a statement. Right? Select C goes to cat dot to upper C and then do array. If you see this output. We got u, v, w, x, y, z in uppercase and the same sequence what we have the input, 
right so as order method ensure that the output sequence matches the input sequence problem solved right okay so let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here we are in visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the plinq in c sharp for that what i have done i have created one console application in plinq demo that has program.cs file in program.cs file there is a namespace plinq demo that has one class named program it has main method which is an entry point of this application is to a statement basically i have written to show to console window because i'm just giving the demo of the plinq in c sharp then what i have done i have created a collection using this state where numbers is equal to enumerable dot range one one million dot two list and then what i have done i have written one plinq here where odd numbers is equal to numbers dot as parallel dot where number goes to number percent two not equal to zero dot two list. so here I have used this as parallel extension method of system dot link dot parallel enumerable class. Basically, this method is going to make sure that we are going to find this odd number by filtering the odd numbers in the parallel way. And then whatever the numbers we got it, we are going to get the count. So for that, I have written this statement. Console dot write line number of odd numbers, odd numbers dot count. Basically, I'm just printing this count of the odd number into console window. But I have written this state. Then what I have done, I just wanted to show input character set and unordered output and ordered output, right? So for this, what I have done, I have written this console dot write line statement. To be w x y z dot as parallel dot select c goes to cat dot to upper c dot to array. As we inform that as parallel extension method does not guarantee that that we are going to get the output in the same sequence as we have in the input. And that's what we wanted to witness. Is. That's what. I have written this statement inside this console dot write line window so that it will get the output and printed the output into console. Then what I have done in order to show the ordered output, so I have used this as ordered extension method after immediately as parallel method. So basically, this extension method will guarantee that whatever the output that we are going to receive, it will be the same sequence as we have the input. That's what I have written this statement into console window. So whatever the output that we are going to get it, it is just going to get printed into console, right? Okay, so this is the program. So let me go and execute this program so that we can witness the output. Let me go and execute this. Okay, so output got appear into this console. See, demo of plinq in C sharp got printed. Number of odd numbers got printed 500,000. So in the original list, we had 1 to 1 million. And in between, we have 500,000 odd numbers. That's what it got printed. As a part of the second example, I wanted to display this number, input character set. What is the input I have taken? And when we applied as parallel extension method, what output we are going to get? As we discussed that we will be getting the unordered output. That's what we got this output ux, vw, yz, which is not in the same sequence what we have it as the input one, right? And how we are going to achieve the ordered output. For that purpose, we have used as ordered extension method immediately after as parallel method, right? And if you see this output, I got the ordered output u v w x y z which is similar to the input sequence right so that's how we are going to achieve it so you must be thinking why should you consider using plinq in your csa project right so for this let's explore some of the key advantages number one parallel execution plinq allows us to execute link queries in parallel leveraging multiple processes or code so this can significantly improve the performance of operation on large data set by dividing the work and processing it concurrent number two multi-core system utilization plinq is particularly useful on multi-core system where traditional link queue operation might not take full advantage of available hardware resources because it automatically partitions data and distributes it across cores making better use of the computational power number three simplified parallelism plinq abstract away many of the complexity of the parallel program so developer just need to write the parallel queries using a similar syntax to regular link without the need to explicitly manage thread or handle low level concurrency details simplify the process of introducing parallelism into the code as you have already seen how just dot hatch parallel extension method does the heavy lifting for us number four performance gains for certain workloads for certain types of queries that can be easily parallelized such as filtering mapping and aggregation operations p link you can lead to significant performance gains however the benefits depends on the nature of the task size of the data set and the available hardware now comes to the fifth one that is the final one automatic load balancing p link you includes automatic 
dynamic load balancing mechanism. What does it mean? It dynamically distributes the workload among available processors, ensuring that each processor gets a fair share of the work. This helps to prevent situations where some processors finish their work early while others are still processed. Okay, so now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we learned about PLinQ. What PLinQ is, how and why to use it in CSA program. While PLinQ offers advantages in terms of parallelism and performance, we need to be very, very careful while considering its use and evaluate the specific requirements of our application. Not all scenarios benefit from parallel processing and the overhead of parallelization might outweigh advantages for a smaller data set or simple operation. In the upcoming videos, we'll take a deeper dive to this topic. Stay tuned for more insight. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.